Hey guys, this is Ken from Mahalo.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with green screen in iMovie 11. iMovie comes packed with a lot of cool features. One of them, you can work with green screen, and that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and take this footage of some Mortal Kombat stuff I captured. Pretty cool combo, I must say. So we'll go from here. And here. It doesn't have to be Mortal Kombat, but I just felt like using it for my film. So we'll go ahead and drag that and put it in our project library. We'll lower this volume right here. And I have green screen right here. So let's say I wanted to, even though I'm not doing this, um, actually this is for a future tutorial coming up where I can teach you how to clone yourself. So that one's actually really cool. So we'll go ahead and take this footage and just drag that on top of this Mortal Kombat footage. And just we have to make sure the green screen. Well, actually, before I do that, let's go and let's go back. So before you do any green screen, it can be done really cheaply just by going out to Home Depot or Michaels and just buying some fabric and uh, just making sure it's the right um, color. Another thing too is you want to have green screen well lit. You want to make sure the background is well lit and you're not casting any shadows. And we're actually going to have some future tutorials teaching you about correct green screen. So having the right green screen is going to make it when you do it, you know, there's no shadows and it doesn't look, um, doesn't look too bad. But the most important thing in green screen is lighting. So with that said, let's go ahead and take this clip and drag it onto our project right here. Now you see we have all these options. Well, let's hit green screen. And there we go. Now I'm in this film. Now this is probably me talking about something else, so we'll just lower the volume and we'll just pretend I'm talking about Mortal Kombat. So let's go ahead and maybe I want to add an interesting tip. So let's hit space bar. Talking about a cool combo. <laughs> so that's how easy it is to add green screen. Now we can double click and add different effects to it or smooth it out a little bit. So we can add audio effects to that specific clip. Let's hit cancel. So we can go ahead and maybe make myself in slow motion. And as you can see that now it fits because it made it slow motion, but we'll go to none. We can go to video effect and we can adjust the levels. So let's go ahead and actually put this timeline right there so we can see what that does. So I can kind of like darken myself up to maybe make myself match, you know, match the background. But a lot of times when I do adjust the levels, it's going to affect the original one as well. So let's go revert to original. But using the slider, as you can see, it's not too bad. The more you kind of adjust, you can find what you want. But, you know, there I'm looking red. So you just want to go ahead and use the levels and explore and see what works for you. And what's cool, too, you can even have the white point adjustment, which is a pretty cool little feature in iMovie. So let's go back to original, which is a great thing. And I'll go show you how you can actually clone yourself really quickly, but I'll go into that into more detail in my tutorial. So I'll just grab this footage of myself, drag it onto the project, and then we'll go down here where I shot myself, the other side right here. Yep, and that's where I clap to get audio. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab the selection right here. And we'll do the same thing. Just put it right here in the very beginning where I want my green screen to start. Green screen. And there I am. Two Kens. Hey guys, Ken from Mahalo. 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 I got a special guest with me today. <laughs> and there we go. A really cool way you can duplicate or clone yourself. Well, guys, this has been Ken from Mahalo.com, and I hope you found this tutorial informative, and I hope to see you guys. If you guys do any green screen projects or any cool projects like this, send me the link over there. Uh, you can reply to it. Uh, for You can reply to one of my videos and let me know how it went for you or if I can offer you any tips. All right, guys, this has been Ken one more time, and thank you for watching this film.